The following was written to be presented at the closing ceremonies of this year's Uniontown pilgrimage. It is time for the Lord to act. These words from Psalm 119 are voiced by the deacon at the beginning of the Divine Liturgy. Not long ago, a Facebook friend posted on his wedding anniversary that marriage is an act of God. God acting. Usually when we hear of an act of God, we are speaking of some disaster, a lightning strike, a hurricane, or a tornado, something for an insurance claim. Surely, for many, if not most of us, this pilgrimage has been an opportunity to witness God in action. We participate in the Divine Liturgy, or perhaps we receive healing through sacraments or are inspired by sermon or prayer. This year's pilgrimage theme directs our attention to God's active presence, His providence, by looking to Mary, mysterious treasure of God's providence. Sometimes we feel like God has abandoned us to our own devices and at other times like God is controlling our lives like a puppeteer. Things actually happen in God's providence. Surely his becoming man of the Virgin Mary is the summit of that providence. The concept of providence includes one, that God created the world and sustains it. Two, what we do and decide relies on God's power. And three, everything, even what seems to be bad at the moment, will lead us toward God's ultimate purpose. As we read in the letter to the Romans, from him and through him and for him are all things. St. Ignatius Loyola has been unfairly paraphrased to say, Pray as if everything depends on God, work like everything depends on you. Perhaps a better way would be, Pray and work because everything depends on God. But remember that God has chosen to rely on your help. Indeed, God acts at times without the cooperation of humankind, as in a hurricane or an inspiration from nature. But through God's providence, he continues to act through the agency of you and me. Let's not allow ourselves to be discouraged by the signs of the times. All things will be directed to God's good end. As we leave this pilgrimage, we can also say, Now is the time for the Lord to act, because we, like Mary our mother, are prepared to accept what God gives us and indeed cooperate with him to his good end. For those times we fall short in doing our part, we rely on God's direct intervention. For those times we work against God, we pray for God's mercy.